Hello everybody. We're going to jump in. Uh, welcome to Grateful Harmony from my home um, on the equinox just at the time the sun is setting. So you'll, if you listen carefully, you'll hear the birds. Thoroughly enjoying the afternoon out there. Yes. Amy wanted me to open the windows so that I was less likely to catch anything from her, which is wise. Mm -hmm. But it means that the bird song is joining us for this um, grateful harmony that is about resilience mm -hmm. and um, finding magic within the paradox of a world epidemic. And yeah. <laughs> Earth gives way the <laughs> I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna find my lyrics and start again. The earth gives way, the mountains move into the sea, the nations rage, God holds it all. Earth gives way, the mountains move into the sea, the nations rage, God holds it all. The oceans roar, you are the one who calms the wind and makes my heart be still. The oceans roar, you are the Lord of all, the one who calms the wind. My heart be still, it makes my heart be still. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that I. Be still and know that I. Be still and know that. Be still and know that. Be still and know. Be still. Peace. 
still and I love that song. So I wanted to open with that one specifically because um, I really feel like in the middle of the storm there is a stillness, like the eye of a storm. There is a very powerful place that we need to orientate in. Now we're beaming this to you live from Marrowstone Island, which is just a really idyllic, peaceful place and just looking out the window there across the sea to Whitby Island and it's been eerily quiet and everybody's out walking and um, so just very much a, a time of pause and, uh, and I've been using it to really focus on prayer and um, do my spiritual practice so it's kind of been like a enforced sabbath which is what my soul needed mm. meanwhile there's the anxiety and the fear and uncertainty about loved ones and the economy and all of it so i really wanted to start with that be still because the equinox is the halfway point between light and dark and um the best way to 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 dance on that tightrope is by resting into quiet i think definitely is a place to begin because your head can't make sense of it. It's just a bit too crazy. Yeah. Quite. So, Amy, what do you want to do? I'm gonna. What do you want to play next? Well, if you're tagging me, I'm gonna do this one next. Um, because. Because this is this is I think my version of that last one, <laughs> in terms of the place to come back to. Um, uh. Yeah, this is a song for home base. Well, talking about home base. Yeah. Olivia and Alexa are watching you. What? And Lyndon's just come home too. Welcome. This is what happens when you do a gig at supper time. Welcome. We have an audience, a live audience now. It's not just me and Amy. I must admit I'm feeling very grateful to have a body. I'm feeling very grateful to have a functioning body. I'm feeling very grateful for my immune system and my sleep cycles and my digestive system and just all the things about this symbiosis that let my ego skate on top of it. It's a miracle. Yeah, it's, it's an incredible miracle. miracle. And there's, um, it's just such a gift, so that's what this song is about, so. So this is a body meditation, quite literally. You could sing along with me if you want to on the chorus, or if you know the song, feel free to sing it, or just let my voice and the words I'm singing uh, guide your appreciation to different parts of your physical form as you sit there on the other side of Cyberland.
because all of our bodies are being put through tests right now. Whether we are in the midst of illness or anticipating illness or in ourselves or in other people or recovering from it. Body mind, body mind. 
tell you a little story about a new prayer practice of mine so um, I think maybe every person watching this knows that I'm a transgender person and that I was born female but just in case you don't you need to know that before you understand this story and um, I got my beard by taking injections of testosterone and recently I switched over to a cream and I put it on my body here and while I'm doing that, I think about the Jewish blessing. There's one that says, um, thank God I wasn't born a woman, right? That men are supposed to say. It's one of those kind of, uh, <laughs> how do you deal with that sexism in your faith? Um, and a lot of people reframe it. And I, um, I reframe it by just like saying, thank God I'm born trans. Thank God I've got this body and the, the gift of this medicine. And I wrote that in. Um, every day when I take that medicine and that's a new spiritual practice of mine but um, I think that's the perfect soundtrack to it really because <laughs> there's, a, there's a depth you know the depth yeah. are, to living in a body and being around other people who are being born and dying and getting ill and recovering it's 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 complicated yeah and finding appreciation through those kind of things is, is complicated too mm -hmm. how do you how do you celebrate some of the hard things? Yeah. But that's You're a great teacher of me. Oh, good. That. Well, uh, putting on the testosterone and seeing my beard and it just makes me so happy. So that's an easy <laughs> one to celebrate. Yeah. Um, so how do you guys use Amy's song? You can yeah. jump that in the chat if you want to. I'll try and make division of myself. Yeah, that song is... A, it came through this body and voice, but it's definitely... Um, I, I love the solidarity, the depth of solidarity I feel with people when they have experiences with so, with this song or when they sing along because um, we're, we're filling the air with our sound when we're all singing it together, but we're all doing an internal singing. Mm -hmm. We're all pointing that singing inwards, and that feels kind of rare because usually if you're singing to God or something holy or something or a lover or something you're appreciating, it's external. And I love the experience of filling a room with voices, all, every individual singing to their own body. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious mm -hmm. what your experience with that was just now, or if you already know that song, or other practices like it. Well, I'll give you a minute because there's a delay. Oh, that's right. Um, I'm doing this, it's called a Novena, it's a nine day prayer with my friends Abbey of the Arts. It's every day at 10 o'clock. Abbey of the Arts, where are they located? They're located online. Oh, really? Their abbotess is in Galway. She's American, but um, she's over in Galway. Christine Walters been there, and she's wonderful. Um, and there was, I think, like 2,000 people or something online today. And we're, um, one of the things they do is uh, Lectio Divina, where they, they'll... And we do that with songs, right? So we're telling a story through a song, and then everybody is internalizing and, and experiencing their own profound connection with the song or with the reading. And... Um, it's this old thing that monks have done, but it's what we do as musicians in Port Townsend all the time. We sing a song, and then because the audience heckles us and gives us feedback and mm -hmm. they're so loving, we get to hear how other people interpret it. So, so the see. digital version of that is what we're going for here. Yeah, so uh, Heidi says, mm. um, peace in the moment. That she experienced it as meditation, peace in the oh. moment. Derek? Oh said that they used it when they were driving home in the car after Molly's surgery. Mm. <laughs> and Susan says, um, Amy's song leads me into movement more holistically mm. as I move around the kitchen and as I listen. Oh, say, yeah, thank Kitchens you. are such sacred places for dancing. Thanks for that, Susan. I got to do uh, a little house blessing in Susan's kitchen. It oh. was really very special. It's a thank very dancing kitchen, Susan's kitchen. Oh, that's a different Susan. Oh, different Susan. Mm -hmm. oh. There's a lot of Susans out there. God bless them all. God bless them all. Um, What's next, Simon? I want to do um, May All Beings Be Happy. Mm. I want to do a little, I want to send out some love. Um, oh, got 
another answer here. Olivia's wondering if you can sing One Day in May or Hazelwood. Ooh, could probably do Hazelwood. But thank you, Olivia. She's over there. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> yes, the mic thing. Yes. Yes. Well, we should probably have the laptop right here, but I, I really want it to have nothing between us. I like that. And since she's in the middle of bedtime, I'll do that right after this. <laughs> well, maybe this can be a bedtime prayer. Um, I came across this recently. It's at the end of a Jaya Lakshmi song called This Is The Day, which is an amazing song. And it ends with this mantra. Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu May all beings be happy May all beings live in peace May all beings be happy May all beings live in peace Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu 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 May all beings be happy May all and intentions has been like darts you take that intention and with the mantra you throw it far and it's not the only dimension that exists you know of course um, sorrow and grief and um, cruelty exist too but right now in that mantra chucking that out so that that is right there prominently in the mix I suddenly feel like if you're doing a three point shot Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I've told, I've, I've learned that for myself. Like if I'm praying for something that's coming in my, like if there's an event that I have, you know, on my calendar, I can pray for it. I can mm -hmm. send little three point shots and I imagine it landing in the little calendar square of the day. Mm -hmm. But then I've learned over time to remember that here I am sitting on this day, March 19th, 2020, which is also my mother's birthday. She's 76 today. Mm -hmm. um, and I can feel the the basketball's landing in this day mm -hmm. all the prayers that are being said that are being sent forward from our ancestors 10 generations ago mm -hmm. to all the prayers being spun on prayer wheels in those parts of the world all the prayers uh for the wellness and the well-being of all beings i am one of those beings and there are prayers currently pointing at me and showering down on me in the midst of whatever I'm going through in the midst of my ego scarcity like whatever that is there is a shower of blessings yeah and if we're open we are more able to receive them yeah and you just reminded me of um, oh, I've got to do another song now. yeah uh, Sunya in the Abbey with me when I lived in the Abbey in 2006 we had this amazing cook called Sunya if the food is tasty and made with love everybody's happy mm -hmm. and she was amazing and um, she'd never led worship before. And she organized this worship service in which we made it paper airplanes. 
in the Abbey. And we threw them at each other. Oh. And they're all different colors. And it was a, just, just this visual of sending prayers, ricocheting. Okay, around. so you're talking about the Abbey on the on, Isle of Iona in yeah. Scotland, which is this old stone Abbey, which is, it's got that gravitas to it. It's really beautiful and full of light, but I just love the idea of paper airplanes flying around. Everywhere. In there. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> so amazing. Good. It was one of my, one of my favorite memories. Oh. You got a song that bubbled up. Well, I'm going to fulfill Olivia's request just because oh, I know yes. she's got bedtime right now, but that made me think of Blessed Rain, which I was going to do later. Um, I usually do this one with a singing bowl. All right, we've been told to speak louder. Speak louder. And, um, oh. I have a, another battery if you need it. It's okay. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Give me a second. We're just good. We're just having a little uh, rearrangement here. Just think of it as a commercial break. Um, and Michael says that Amy, your song was a balm for his soul. Thank you, Michael. It is for me every time I sing it. I gotta admit, all the songs that have come through have, have a purpose like that. Hi, Freya. We have a guard dog, ladies and gentlemen. You can't see her, but she's doing such important work right now. Yes. I don't know that I've ever done this one with guitar. I, it usually requires a drone of some kind. I've often done this one to a drone on my phone, but I'm not going to do that today. Hmm. Oh, Olivia, you made a request, and I'm going to take the spirit of the request and play you a different one that you know that I can do on my guitar with the current scene I've got here. I hope that's okay. But it's one you've often requested at other times. I keep on pointing at the computer, which is the monitor that's the text thread. But I have to remember that the camera is here. Okay. So um, this song is about the magic of the ins the the relationship between uh, humans and their musical instruments. And I want to encourage anyone who is in this housebound state who has always had a hankering to form a relationship with a guitar or a jaw harp or a piano or your singing voice, please take advantage of these this kind of time. I know myself so much better because of this thing in my hands right now. I know so much more about my strength and my curiosity. And there are times when my brain hasn't felt safe to think through things in the way that I need to until I could pick up my guitar and surround my brain with something that sounded beautiful so that I felt safe enough to let myself feel. Does that make sense? So um, this is about that. Okay. I could hear the music playing as I came up to the door and once inside I felt the beat of feet upon the had got himself been there that night, he wouldn't have disapproved. A set of reels got settled and the booms began to move. The players fired their music to each corner of the bar, and the rhythm swung like bassy on piano. And keening bright above the rest, the small pipes led the splore. A call went up for dancers, Frank and Maggie took the floor. Well, the players stopped to catch their breath, and the dancers gasped for the piper stood and loosed his straps and stowed his pipes with care. And as they stepped towards the bar, a voice was heard to say, You look to me the kind of man could play a sweet strets That's a Scottish form of song that's slow and dignified like this. Well, I have that reputation and it's kind of but I've got a hardy man's thirst on me I haven't got all day 
Well, hold your drink one minute now and look at what I've here. A set of pipes worth more your time than any pint of for the drones are turned from boxwood and the chapters bound with gold finest beeswax hemp and leather here i'll give you them to hold the piper looked in wonder as those pipes came out the case he strapped them on and closed his eyes and Quiet filled the place. The devil in the kitchen and the rothy Marcus round. George the Fourth and Stumpy and the bottle feather cairn. As each threat's pay out shone the last, he swore he knew no more. Yet still the tunes came tumbling out from some. He played strat spades and reels and jigs he never thought he knew. And when at last the outpour stopped, a silence around him grew. Until the shock of what they'd heard from everyone did burst. And screams and yells and shrieks and stamps, which by and by dispersed. And as they did, the piper turned and to the maker said, What enchantment is there here? And was it really me who played? There's fearful stories of I've heard the old folk tales, and I fear the hands that made these pipes were guided straight from hell. The maker smiled and told him, I, I understand your fear, but the woods and leathers of this earth, no evil is there here. I must admit these pipes may be the finest ever made, but that would count for not one thing if they were never played. For there's music in them right enough, but there's music in you too, and the one requires the other for that music to come through. The pipes unlock the music that was waiting in your soul, and you unlocked the instrument and made that circle whole. So I've got to clarify. That song's not mine. That's Margie. Marnie. Oh dear. Mar something. Campbell. Oh, Mary. Uh, yeah, she's Scottish. She is. We we. And what's her name? Mary Campbell. Mary. Mary Campbell. Because she yes, wonderful. And I got that song on a storytelling book that I got in Edinburgh and the Royal Mile, the Scottish storytelling center when we were on tour when we were no before we were on tour because oh. i went down to glastonbury and i was like i need new material because i'm going to go on tour with simon and Lyndon in his home country and i don't know what i'm going to play i had a new album of music mind you but i heard that song on the cd accompaniment for this book and it was just different storytellers contributing and then the song was by people like mari campbell including this one and i had that on repeat in my head as i was walking around glastonbury for days and days and days uh, I just remember you playing it and, and it just seeping into my bones and just loving it. We went uh, on tour back in 2012, this guy and me. Yeah, that's and how we got to know each other. A lovely way to get to know each other. So let us know how the sound is. Now we're trying to speak louder. So that was for you, Olivia. Alina says, gorgeous, Amy, thank you. That soothed my soul and um, 
Olivia loves that one. Mm -hmm. So you chose well. Well, I must admit, I, I took that one on because of the idea that I'd always had as a kid. There was this book called The Jolly Mon about a guy who finds a guitar in the bay near where he lives. And as soon as he picks it up, he learn, he knows how to play. Mm -hmm. And I read that book when I was seven or eight. And I was like, that would be so cool. That's how I imagine you. Well, it's so not uh, true, but that's how I totally an, imagine you. It's like. an aspiration to be able to pick up any instrument and just be able to do whatever on it, like to be able to pick up an instrument you've never played before and to suddenly be fluent. Like, yeah. When I picked up a guitar for the first time, I wrote a little tune. When I was a kid, this is it. <gasps> what kind of kid? How old? Maybe 10. Sounds kind of Nirvana-ish. It was before Nirvana. No way! It was before Nirvana. I'm older than you. Oh, that's right. Um, I want to play another Scottish song because um, it's spring, it's the equinox, it's the time, the spring equinox here. I don't know if any of you are tuning in from Australia or New Zealand. There's been a few people tuning into my live streams from the south, southern hemisphere. Um, I try not to sing songs out of season and this one is really, really difficult because it's such a good song. It's called Gloomy Winter Is No Away. Gloomy Winter's New Awa, mm -hmm. and it's by Robert Tannehill, and he's a contemporary poet of Robbie Burns. And mm -hmm. I just, I just love it. Oh, and you won't understand it because it's in Scots, um, which is a shame because the is poetry. Is it Gaelic? No, no. no um, Scots, so, is Scots is a very strong dialect of English, but there's many, many different words. And Robbie Burns, that's what he spoke with Scots, and. Some of the old folk when I was growing up still spoke um, Scots, and there's one or two words that I still say, like we, or muckle for beg, or breeks for trousers. There's a lot of wonderful words in there, onomatopoeic, puik, and this one, it just describes like the fairy corners of the burn, and anyway. Gloomy winters, new war, soft westland breezes blow. Among the burks and manly shores, the mavis sings full cheery o. And I'll start again. <laughs> Gloomy winters, new a wall. Soft the west, then breezes blow. Among the burks and stanley shores, the mavis sings full cheery o. First time of the year that I've sung it, Lyndon. Do you remember it? Will you come up and sing it with me? Lyndon Devoil, everyone. That's how early on. I haven't even sung this yet. Thank you, darling. This is everybody. Hey, everybody. Gloomy winters, new a wall. Soft the west and breezes blow. Among the barks and Stanley shots. Flowers early bell, next glen our first dewy dell, blooming like thy bonny cell, hey, my earthless Neo. So come, my lassie, let us stray, o'er glen in a sunny breeze, and blithely spend the golden day, Miss Joyce, the never. And the snow white clouds and silver sods with downy buds adorn the banks a rio. Round the silver fairy nooks, feathery brackens fringe the rooks beneath the bray and burny chooks. Look a thing is cheerio. Trees may bud and birds may sing, flowers may bloom and verges spring. But joy to me, they Sing can a bring, unless we ye my dear, unless we ye my dear. Thank you for joining us. 
If you guys didn't see that, our wee dog came and sat at Lyndon's feet during that song. Oh, I wish I had taken my phone away because they were just this wonderful tableau with Freya at your feet, Lyndon. Thank, Thank you, you for that. Thank you so much. Yeah, isn't yeah. that interesting how sometimes just the comfort of another person can unlock those stores? You know, was, you were talking about the pipes and how the music is unlocked, and it is, it lives deep in us. If I, the camera hadn't been on, I don't think I would have lost the song. But then anchoring into my family yeah. really brought me back in into the song. I love where the music lives in your fingers and lives in your heart and it lives in the people around you. You know that from yeah. when you're teaching singing. But if you have a big enough group, then if you have one or two competent people, everybody can jump yeah. on the backs of them and carry totally. the song. It's part of our collective conscious. Well, it's like the miracle of relationship and how it works. Oh, and that actually reminds me of this phrase. It's the one phrase I know in Scots, which is monia mickle maxa muckle, mm -hmm. which is a bunch of little things make a big thing, mm -hmm. right? Some so, people, yeah. monia mickle maxa muckle, and it's, that's what relationships are, because you guys sitting next to each other is years of shared conversation and breath and yeah. meals and, you know. I'm singing in the and, song. And, and singing the song. <laughs> Sorry um, about that, everybody. But, yeah. Heidi says thank you. Love you, Heidi. We have 32 people on. And um, we've got a question. Let me mm -hmm. see what the question is. Do you lovely humans have song requests? Oh, I asked that one. Do you <laughs> lovely humans have any song requests? What a great question. Um, lovely music, thanks. Oh, lovely. Okay. You guys are just so wonderfully satisfied, but for real, if you have any song requests of Simon or I, um, and those of you who don't know, um, who know me but don't know Simon, this gentleman's a minister. He might have already made himself known as such, but he, he's, he's the chaplain of my life for sure. Thank you. Yeah, like, yeah, if I die, this is the guy I want at my bedside. Um, I really love being a deathbed, actually. So really? absolutely, I take you up on that. Unless you're at mine. I've. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't even think of that actually. <laughs> yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. I, uh... Where are you going now, my friend? Well, I'm retuning my guitar, um, but I don't think that's. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm going where I was headed. Um, I just, I, I have to do this song because um, I've been re-endeared to an amazing musician thanks to the internet. I We are so lucky to live in this age. Everything making As this musicians. concert possible. Yeah. Microphones and computer interfaces and portable battery chargers and yeah. like we're looking at a monitor on a thing that could fit in either of our pockets. Like, yeah. it's, a, it's a very, very cushy time to be a musician. Um, but because of that, there's a musician who I love so much, who you guys who have seen me perform know uh, me to mention because I sing this song often, S.J. Tucker, who oh, lives yes. in, in uh, Arkansas. And I just, I've just i been following her again. She had a baby within the last wow. couple of years, so her, her career has changed a lot. And one of her biggest fans lives next door to us. I know! Which, which is really weird. Yeah, they almost did a concert like next door. Um, S.J. <laughs> Tucker's a phenomenal songwriter, and I love... I love the mythic as it comes into her songs. Everything from Ravens in the Library to she did a series years ago of um, Wendy from Peter Pan, an alternate story in which Wendy makes a different deal with Captain Hook than she does in the book, Peter Pan, and she ends up taking over the Jolly Roger ship and starting the Lost Girls Pirates Academy. Excellent. And it's it's just this incredible... I, I can't even with this woman. She's amazing. This song... Um, I, I, I asked her if I could sing this one um, because it was it was a chant that came through her and that she shared. I don't know if she performs it. She shared it in its digital form as part of a fundraiser she was doing for some of her work. Um, and I just loved it. And it is the idea is it's a song about the Sphinx. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I know this one. It's great. So bear with me if you've already heard this. Um, it's, uh, it's the Sphinx, the character of the, the being that's um, the head of a woman and the body of a, a lioness or, or a creature like that, a four-legged cat. Um, 
with a mysterious look on her face and and she asks you questions and if you don't answer her correctly or to her liking she could rip your head off um and this song takes that incredible mysterious fierce powerful even dangerous being and puts her in the mirror mm -hmm. so you're singing to the sphinx in the mirror and suddenly this reflection that it's that it could be habitual for you to discard or belittle or pick at or um suddenly you're staring into the eyes of a being of infinite mystery and wisdom mm -hmm. and i love that turn of things so i've been carrying this song very gladly since and i it, I, it occurs to me even now that i posted this concert online and for all i know suj could be watching um so I, I think I've changed around the order of the verses a little bit, but I've, I've done what I can to keep the spirit of me. So would you like to hear that song? I'd love to. Okay. She is a mirror of me, swing and spirit of generosity. that one the, to think that it's not just somebody else telling me that I can handle what's here and what's coming but it's my own reflection, reflection. 
if I look close enough and really take on the solidarity of that gaze. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's so many songs that come up for that. I think of the Ani DeFranco, um, uh, everything I do is judged and they mostly get it wrong, but oh well, because the bathroom mirror has not budged and the mm -hmm. woman who lives there can tell the truth from the stuff that they say. And she looks me in the eye and says, would you prefer the easy, easy way? way. Yeah. Oh, well, okay then, don't cry. I love that you're quoting Annie DeFranco because I was thinking about the Psalms. <laughs> Same thing, really. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it, you know, a younger me, I saw so much of my own humanity in Annie DeFranco's lyrics. Mm. She was amazing. I remember I came across her when I was at university, and I'd never come across anybody who wrote like that or mm -mm. played guitar like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, what a gift she gave us. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a different song. I'm going to change gears. I'm going to go back a little bit because... Um, Notice he's a British driver. He just did that with his left hand, the gear shift. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had a dream last night in which I couldn't work out which side of the road I was driving on, so I had to drive <laughs> off the road and drive through somebody's garden. And it was definitely, I was definitely in the UK, and they weren't very happy. Uh -huh. um, so there's a, a, a poem that, uh, not a poem, a prayer by St. Augustine that's been with me a lot recently. We used to say at the healing service in the Abbey, which now, dear Lord, with those who watch or weep this night, tend your sick ones, pity your afflicted ones, afflicted ones, and it goes on. But this is the star of it that I was thinking about. Watch now, dear God, with those who watch or weep this evening. And um, I want to do the 23rd Psalm because um, I've been thinking about people like especially my my mother in law is 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 dying right now, and um, there are people that we know who are really really ill, and for some reason, the twenty third Sam is the right one. It yeah. just it it holds a a balm and a healing, and I want to send that out to those who watch and weep this evening. Yahweh. My shepherd, Yahweh is my shepherd, and I won't lack for anything I need. Yahweh makes me lie down, Yahweh. Feels the grass and present green and gives me peace. Yahweh guides my pathway. Yahweh guides my pathway. To quiet waters he leads me to drink. And I will drink. I will drink Yahweh restores my soul Yahweh restores my soul So I can walk in righteousness For His name's sake When I walk through the valley I'll fear no evil for I know you are with me, your rod and your staff. You comfort me, you comfort me. Yahweh prepares the table. Yahweh. Yahweh blesses me 
and my cup is overflowing and on my head oil is pouring surely goodness and mercy will follow me all my days all my days Yahweh is my shepherd grandmother would recite before car trips oh really yeah it's used for so many things it's like amazing grace in that it holds a, a tremendous prayer magic in it um that uh, just kind of leaps out as soon as you invoke it we've got some messages mm -hmm. um kenneth wonders what your little box is what is your little oh. thing I've got to do a plug, although I missed the opportunity to have them sponsor me because I swear I felt instrumental in getting more song leaders to get one of these. This is a Cajon Tab by Lawson Drums, L-O-U-S-O-N, and it's got a little sound hole on here that you can leave open or shut, and it's got a snare on the bottom that you can put on the top. Um, and as a song leader in particular, I didn't feel comfortable playing in djembe. I didn't get the tone that I wanted and was too heavy. And a cajon, which I loved playing for a long time, kept me seated, seating, seated, so that every time I'm in a song circle and everyone's like, let's walk around and dance. And I couldn't because I was sitting on my drum. And then when I found this and I could fit it in my carry-on bag and it was the perfect volume for singing and... It just seems to work really well, so hope that helps. A Cajon Tab by Lawson Drums. And also, um, I'm going to check levels in a minute. I've got my headphones because supposedly I was louder than you, and I don't want that because you sing such beautiful harmonies. I can move this closer. And you're, no, no, it's okay. I can change it. Um, love to Amy from your cousins in New, Bell, uh, in New Orleans. <gasps> oh, you beauties. I love you so much. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> It's so much. It's actually a lot of fun doing this, and um, yeah, I, 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 I wasn't going to do a Grateful Harmony com, uh, concert for the Equinox. Um, it just didn't feel right to meet in the building, um, and that's so I didn't I didn't organize it, mm -hmm. and and then about a week ago I was like, no, I have to do Grateful Harmony, and thank you for saying yes I, last minute. I love saying yes to you last minute because this is just such a natural place. It's like I haven't seen you in two weeks. Well, I've been avoiding everybody. It's been good. Uh, yeah, because I work with so many people who are elders. I've been really um, staying apart from well, everyone. That's the protocol now. Yeah, so it is for you, every, But you yeah. started early. I started early. Well, uh, yeah, I work with people in their 80s and 90s, and uh, I don't know when they're going to need me. Yeah, thank you so much for being mm -hmm. ready in that way. Um, whew. What are you going to play? Oh, I was just thinking about that. Um, I'm just feeling in the moment appreciative of this format. Last night I was on a Zoom call. Song leaders that I love and care about in Toronto, Canada, invited me to be the guest song leader. And I, I told my people. And then there were a friend of mine was on from Japan and more from New Mexico and Asheville, North Carolina and Minneapolis and L.A. And I just feel so grateful 
for the singing community and for the musicians mm. that I know who have been cross-pollinating with each other in real time at gatherings and, mm -hmm. and for song circles. And so to be able to see each other like that all together in a room, just I couldn't stop smiling. So the, those friends of mine do it twice a week. Uh, Sunday and Wednesday, and I'm going to start doing my own so weekly can... song circle on yeah, Thursdays. So where would we find out about your song circle? I'm going to be posting it on Facebook and on Instagram, um, but it'll be a Zoom call because it'll be more interactive. I'll be able to see your faces. And the deal with the song circle online is that because of the delay, you can't, I can't hear you. All mm -hmm. I can do is either play instruments so that you can have the parts in relative, or I'll have a couple people with me in the room. Yep. That's kind of what we're doing. But then you put the the other people put themselves on mute. But yeah. it's so great. Like there's a lot that's lost in not being able to meet live. But we are so lucky in this day and age to be able to connect this way. So. And so I, and I want to tell you all that I am, I'm doing lots of live streaming. Oh, dude, he's on it. Yeah. I, I want to live stream with you more often because you've got the gear to make it work. Yeah, really dude, well. I just um, I well, um, God's amazing. And I just learned in the last couple of months how to do this and just bought the gear. He built this microphone. Yes, this is the microphone that I built. He this wee microphone, he built it with his own little hands. Um, in James's shop. And um, I'm using, yeah, there's a lot of things that James is here helping make this James happen. Curtis, an amazing Who's online right now. Um, Are you on, James? Oh, this yeah. is so darling. Um, so on Wednesday mornings, I'm doing chants and prayers for healing. Um, I, I've been doing it as a video, but I think I'm going to change it to uh, a podcast. Um, it happens, a uh, crowdcast. Um, which is what you're on right now. So every Wednesday during this coronavirus time, I'm going to be doing prayers for healing and chants for healing. There's also the church that I work for, Unity. We've been doing Sunday services. And I want to do gigs like this. Probably mostly it'll just be me for my patrons mm -hmm. pa uh, over on Patreon. Thank you for those of you who join me. Um, I have a whole ministry that I do through Patreon. So... Um, and that'd be a great time to join because you're stuck at home and also because 30% of my income <laughs> evaporated overnight. So um, I'm doing a lot of more stuff online. Thank you for buying tickets. I really appreciate that. Um, and there should be a button underneath the video that has a link to Patreon. But let's get on with music. This I don't want this to be a plug of... No, no, no. It's good. I think those are needed. Those are very needed. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for both of us. I'm going to be off on a, a weekly song circle, thinking of doing an Ani DeFranco Indigo Girls sing-along one of these days, um, and, and just a straight-up concert of my own. I'm, I'm learning this gear as we speak. Um, um, and I'm curious in the, in the messages what y'all are finding to keep you sane. How are you staying connected? How are you tending right now? Like, how are you taking care of yourself? Because it's, we're always, I think, all needing more consider like more suggestions or inspiration with that i've been doing kundalini yoga in the mornings and i live in a place where i get to get on my bicycle and bike to a beach and jump in the cold water so that's been that's one of my go-to's and I, gardening I, I don't do that i hate being cold and wet i'm scottish <laughs> I've so much in my life being cold and wet i don't want to do it anymore the technology is all for resisting that. i use water to bless myself but only a little bit so like one more song each or two what do you think um yeah I got, I got, I got two or three. Um, we're probably not going to play all the way through to the actual equinox, which is uh, I wrote this down. It is eight eight forty nine. Equinox oh. meaning the point at which the sun, the daylight, and the night are exactly the same amount of time. The time of synergy and perfect balance, but it's also the time of holding paradox. Um, it's. Um, I've done a number of. Grateful Harmony Equinoxes. I realized when uh, I was creating this one, they put the number two because I'd already done the Spring Equinox right? yep, yep, yep. <laughs> live stream. Um, it is such a, a time, a magical, strange time, perfect for us holding health and vitality with surrounded by fear and uncertainty. It is that moment in time. Yeah, and it's such a good gig. <laughs> to be a musician, I know it's a tenuous one because a lot of people's livelihood, like in terms of actually making money and making a living, is it's a tricky one. And in these times, a lot has changed for people. But in terms of the need, in my opinion, it's important right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, like as a musician, it can feel like tooting my own horn, but it's like I need this food. Mm -hmm. I need the food of music to help regulate me and to again make safe spaces to feel all the 
unthinkable feelings we're having to Absolutely. deal with. Yeah. So yeah. as an integrative tool, it feels, I feel glad to be in this, in this work. Um, I wrote the song for my dog. Shuba. Started writing it for my dog, Shuba. Who passed away two years ago now. Wow. Yeah, I know. Two years and three months ago. And he taught me so much about wordless relating and wordless endearment. And his t 11 years of life shared with me in my life taught me to point that kind of relatedness to all of my relationships. And um, so, of course, it started being about my dog and then it became about all my other relationships. And My dog is always first to know when I am starting to let go of anything I need to keep. He sees my eyes stuck to the ground. He feels the weight that pulls me down. He hears me sighing in my sleep. But as I'm reaching for my shoes, he jumps right up because he knows So 
Thank you for writing that song. So profoundly uh, beautiful and important song. I feel like I have to try it on every time, you know? Mm -hmm. There's a lot to it, and it's a lot to put my life's imperfections and the things that I consider failures and mm -hmm. unfinished things through the ringer of that song because it's still always going to be a good choice to engage even in the places where I still haven't mm -hmm. and I know it. Mm -hmm. In the places I haven't yet engaged, but you can feel them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And to not agonize and stress and put myself down about that because those things don't help if I'm really wanting healing. There's an urgency, but it can't be the kind that's denigrating urgency. Mm -hmm. That doesn't really yield anything. I've learned that. I got this song when one more. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to invite you guys to um, to pray, right? Yeah, I know it's a pretty radical thing. What? Uh, <laughs> this is a, a lurica, which is a Celtic um, blessing. It, it started in the pagan days and pagan traditions all over the world. They'll, they'll, they'll bless the directions around you. They'll, they'll, they'll cast out the sacred and wrap it around you in all directions. And in the Celtic tradition, it's called a lorica. Mm -hmm. And... This is uh, this comes from St. Patrick's Breastplate. St. Patrick's Day was recently. I'm just going to um, sing the Lorica part. Um, and I'm going to invite you to um, place in the middle of the song somebody that um, you, you want to receive the healing. Or, um, or yourself. Place it inside us to receive the blessing. So we're going to 
of saying I or me. Love with me, love before me, love behind me, love in me, love beneath me, love above me, love on my right. Love when I lie down, love when I arise, love when I take rest, love to shield me. Love in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, love in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. That's your setting, yeah? Well, kind of. There was um, a prayer we used to sing in the Abbey called Circle Me Lord, and it was slightly different words, but it was mostly that melody, and that was written by Andy Moss. Mm, I love that one. I've got a... What do you got? Let me look at the comments just for a second. Oh, God, all these things people are saying. Is that 42 people I see? Uh, yes, 34 live, 42. People are doing all sorts of amazing th things in this time. I'm just going to read uh, one by Alina. Oh, right. I, well, we asked a little earlier what people's practices were. So Alina was, walks in the wood every day with friends or alone, connecting with plants and critters, weaving, 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 singing, deep breathing, 20 minutes meditation every day, oh, bath every night. I love that. Good for you. Um, foraging for wild food, eat something wild every day. She's good at that. I'm so glad and you're Listening on, to yeah. bird song every morning. Leah is dancing, gardening, singing, laying on her back in the sun, sponging it all up. Gardening is key. Bridget is doing yoga, prayer, walks, reading music, helping others. That's a great one. Beverly is listening to birds and looking for new daily blooms. Yes. I'm Watching so spring good. unfold right before our eyes. I'm feeling so grateful for so many of us who have access to these kind of places, to have access to beaches and forests. I know, Heidi said that she was walking on the beach. Oh, um, thank you all so much for taking care of yourselves and each other. Can you hear the birds out there? It's just gorgeous. The robins are heralding spring. Yes. I've got one more. Yeah? Uh, but I don't know how many you've got. i got one away. more. I've got one more. Yeah? I've got the, you know, it's the... I don't know how many more you guys have got. It's the one, it's, it's the one. I mean, I have to follow that last one about love. Um, there's a great, I'm going to post it tomorrow on Facebook. Somebody sent me a video version, a little less than 10 minute segment of Joanna Macy, um, the amazing writer of so many great books and the concept of the great turning that the unraveling in the world, there's also a cultural and human great turning. Oh gosh. And she translates books of poetry by oh, Rilke, Rilke. Yeah. and she traveled the world and did Peace Corps work and is just a total lioness of a... So, activist, healer, wise woman. Got to hang out with her last year at the age of 89. She came to a song retreat we did at Esalen. Mm -hmm. I got to sit in hot tubs with her while whales were breaching. It was a life highlight. But she did a 10 minute video years ago talking about the Shambhala prophecy in the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. And I'm gonna post it because she heard this um, when she was living in uh, uh, the northern province of India with with a Tibetan in a Tibetan settlement and um, uh, she kind of got her marching orders for how to be present how to be compassionate and have insight of the inter interconnectedness of things and she said that's one of the most radical things we can do in in the midst of all that's changing and unraveling in our world is to be present 
Mm -hmm. um, so those were her marching orders, and I'm going to post that tomorrow. But when this song came through me, I felt like even as I was, even as the words were coming out, these are my marching orders. So. Mm -hmm.
Beautiful. Lovely people. Um, I am making a separate audio recording of this and probably a, a, a non-streamed um, video. So if there was interruptions, because now is the time that everybody watches Netflix, um, come back and watch the video tomorrow and it should um, be still there, but with better audio and uh, maybe better video. Oh, meaning now's the time in the evening when people are watching Netflix, so the service is slower or something? Yeah. It's more congested? I think so. Like, like, like there's all sorts of strange things. Everyone's on the watching Outlander. It's just Everybody's congesting all of it. So, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. I'm really um, grateful, especially to Lyndon, who is giving up her living room for this concert, mm -hmm. and to Amy for coming. And it's lovely, lovely to see you. you I've know, missed you. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you for tuning in. I'll probably do a concert probably once every two weeks or three weeks. Um, Me too. Stay tuned. Facebook. Be I'm gonna safe, everybody. Take care of yourselves and each other. We love you. Love you so much. Doing a full bag of it. Yeah, of course. This is too rough. Okay, bye.
la 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 la